People often say that the flower of one's life blossoms at the age of 16 and 17, and that youth is the most beautiful phase of your life. However, I don't really see it like that. Indeed, there are so many possibilities and choices that are present in this period, but as your anticipation overflows, we do not acquire the ability to control our lives, and we're always looking into the world through others' eyes. Well, I will turn 18 in October this year, at the mention of it, a question which has hit me in the face. Hey, are you ready to go out into the society and be an adult? I'm literally very confused every time when I hear this question. Well, it seems like the number 18 just magically turns you into some strange woman that I won't even recognize myself. I would always imagine myself being picked up from a cozy bed and thrown out into the society when a bell of 18 charms. Following that question will be a series of exclamations to success. Major in economics, that makes money. Painting will be able to make you a living. How are you going to be successful if a guitar player is all you want to be? My friend Mia was a crazy enthusiast of drawing. She has won tons of awards because of her pictures since a very, very young age. However, when she was about to pursue the arts in college and was so close to achieve what she had wished for, her dream was put on hold. Under the pressure of her parents' grumbling and other skeptical attitudes, she had to put down her paints and apply for math major instead. But doesn't it seem conflicting? That we're told to make our own world, but our future is still being defined by others? Time changes. The definition for mediocrity and success changes as well. The person who has the right and ability to evaluate and judge our own lives is ourselves. We're told from such a young age to be yourself and change your world, but what is making it so hard to change these slogans and motivations into actions? China's economics right now are developing vastly, so there should be more and more opportunities for us to choose non-traditional paths. We, the Chinese youths, should be seizing the opportunity right now and make our future our own world. Well, for me, I'm a girl who wants to stand out a place for myself in the STEM areas. I'm a huge fan of disaster management. Well, it might not be a typical path, especially for me as a girl, but with all these natural crises like COVID and climate changes, things have to be done. And pursuing this path is my way of changing the world and making my future fit into it. We might have seen so few miracles and listened to so many discouraging words that we have to believe our life is leading towards mediocrity. But when we look back from much later, yes, we might not regret that we did not make grand changes or did not become prosper, but I believe we will indeed regret that we did not make ourselves proud. So with possibilities in our hand, make our flowers blossom create our own world and call it my future.